Alright, today we're going to use these PVC pipe parts to make a homemade applicator and we're going to insert milky spore into that applicator so that we can kill off these Japanese beetle larvae and hopefully scare away these nasty moles. Let's get to it. So I have a fairly significant uh, mole problem that I've been trying to battle for approximately three years now and uh, had some limited success using these uh, spring trap type mole traps uh, but uh, they still persist so I'm gonna try to treat it using milky spore milky spore comes in two forms as a granular form as a matter of fact I put some of that down this past fall uh, now I'm gonna try uh, the powdered form it's kind of the consistency of talcum powder uh, so I built an applicator out of PVC in order to apply this. Uh, the applicator, um, I'll show you how to put that together, works pretty well, particularly in windy conditions. Uh, so I'm going to demonstrate uh, how you assemble this thing. Let's go ahead and get started. So just some tips about uh, Milky Spore and its application. Uh, it's, this box uh, contains 2.5 pounds and it treats up to 10,000 square feet. That, I have a whole acre, obviously that won't treat the whole acre. I think that's about an eighth of an acre treatment. Uh, this stuff also is fairly pricey, so you, you surely wanna make sure that you uh, apply it as directed. It uses about a teaspoon of this material every four foot, and you apply it in a checkered pattern. So you would start through the yard applying every four feet and then move four feet over and then um, you would want to uh, put the spots down in a staggered pattern uh, so that you end up with a checkered board pattern across your lawn. So as far as when to apply you can uh, see this life cycle of the grub uh, starting in January and June and July is when they typically uh, the Japanese beetle forms and uh, then uh, the larvae return to the soil towards the end of the summer. So you can treat uh, about any time uh, during the year, but what I've seen uh, and read is that the most effective time is typically uh, late summer, early fall in the August, September range. So what is milky spore? It's a bacteria that dwells naturally in the soil uh, it is a rod-shaped bacterium that infects the grubs of Japanese beetles. How it works is that milky spore in the soil is eaten by the grubs during the active feeding seasons in the summer months, and then the bacteria produces inside the grub, killing the grub within 7 to 21 days. As the infected grub decomposes, it releases more milky spore into the soil. Uh, the spores can survive in cold weather and they can also survive in drought conditions and they can continue to kill Japanese beetle grubs for up to 10 years. So I wanted to make sure that I mentioned that there are no known health risks associated with milky spore use, but you are supposed to take care when you're working with uh, it as a bacteria. So there's precautionary statements on the box that you should be aware of. Uh, this can be hazardous to humans and domestic animals when it's in this powdered form. You are not to inhale this. You're not to get it on skin or clothing or in your eyes. It can be a severe irritant. Uh, so if you do get this on you, there's instructions on here on how to ensure uh, that you get the proper care. So you just want to be mindful uh, to wear the gloves and probably wear long sleeves and pants and apply this on a day when the uh, wind is calm so that you don't get a lot of this blowing around and, and possibly uh, irritate the skin or eyes. So just to give you an idea of the uh, consistency of milky spore, it's very much like a talcum powder. You can see here it's a, a real fine uh, powder. So what I'm going to do for demonstration purposes, I'm actually going to use talcum powder in my applicator after I assemble it. Just to demonstrate how the applicator might work in the application of milky spore. All right, in order to put this homemade applicator together, you need one two inch piece of PVC pipe. I've cut that two inch piece 
about six inches off the bottom, as you can see here. Uh, additionally, you'll need one two foot, uh, one and a half inch PVC pipe. You'll need two couplers. One is a uh, two inch straight coupler, and the second one is a reducer coupler that goes from the two inch to a one and a half inch. This is a uh, PVC test blank that I took and I used an eighth inch drill to drill holes in it uh, so that I could dispense the powder. And then I have a one and a half inch end cap. So let's go ahead and show you how this all goes together. I took the two fit section of the PVC pipe and cut off six inches. The reason for that is so that I can insert the blank with the pre-drilled holes in there and keep that from touching the ground. So that six inch separator uh, gives enough distance so that when I tap on the ground, this screen doesn't get moist and therefore get clogged. Of course, we hold the longer piece and the six inch piece together with this coupler. So they snap together tightly and this bottom piece also holds that blank in place. And once we have those two pieces assembled, then it's a matter of putting the reducer on the top. Of course, this is the part of the chamber that would get filled with milky spore. If you wanted to, you can actually fill the upper part, the one and a half inch section. This one and a half inch section is narrow enough that it allows me to easily grab it and it also extends it to a length where it's comfortable to use as an applicator. And then it's just a matter of putting the cap on the top of the one and a half inch pipe and that keeps the powder from coming up uh, and irritating eyes or skin. So that's how it goes together. Okay, so I wanted to go ahead and comment about the cost of making the applicator. First of all, uh, you can buy on Amazon when you order the Milky Spore a cardboard applicator. Uh, it's described as cheap. It's only given three out of uh, five stars. Uh, the cost of that dispensing tube, as it's called on the site, is $11.85. Um, and compared to my cost for making this applicator, my cost with all pieces uh, together is $13.62. I can break that out by, by part here in just a moment. But going back to the cardboard applicator, it doesn't get very good reviews. Um, and it's probably something that you use once and, and then it's done. This can be used multiple times. Uh, the cost for the two inch uh, pipe, which was a two fit, foot segment, was $4.88. That was the most expensive piece. Uh, the cost for this one and a half inch pipe by two foot long was $2.98. Uh, the, the piece uh, that I perforated, which is uh, called a test cap, which is down inside here, uh, that piece was only 72 cents. These two couplers, you have the coupler here, which is a straight coupler and the reducer coupler right here. Those both were $1.58 each. And then finally, on this opposite end here, there's a cap, and uh, that was $1.88 for that cap. So you add all that up, and you get uh, $13.62, plus there's some tax, of course, on that as well. But $13.62 versus the uh, cardboard tube, uh, which you could probably find any cardboard tube and use that as well. Uh, that cost again being eleven fifty eight is kind of a no brainer to make something like this that you can use plus i 'm not sure what the dispensing end uh, looks like, but uh, this will ensure that uh, I keep above the grass if it 's damp it will keep this uh, from getting clogged the dispensing uh, screen plus when I touch the ground with the end of this thing it 'll disperse the product in a nice uh, neat application and if there's any wind at all it'll keep it from dispersing around. So to go ahead and demonstrate the application of this material I've laid out a 
tape measure measuring four feet. So I'm going to go ahead and ply my first application at the tape measure and then at the four foot end and then just continue on and then stagger the next uh, row four feet over to give you an idea how to lay out the grid pattern. So let's go ahead and get started. So there's one and two. So you can see it puts down a nice application and it doesn't allow the product to be able to be blown by the wind by uh, using this method of application. I'm going to take another giant step, apply it again, another giant step, apply it again, and we're going to continue on like that and I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done. So I applied the uh, baby powder in a grid fashion and I think you can see in the center row those uh, spots of application kind of stagger the uh, outside edges. Uh, trying to be uh, taking those large steps and doing it every four feet and then starting at two feet in on the second row again every four feet and then ending up on the third row uh, which is consistent with the first. Uh, so uh, give you an idea of how it is to be applied and if you do that uniformly uh, you can uh, have efficient use um, of the uh, milky spore powder. One thing about milky spore, it's, it's very effective but it's not cheap. Uh, this container, again, this is a two and a half pound container that will treat 10,000 square feet if you use the spot application method. So you want to make sure that you apply it in an efficient manner. Uh, this container will cost between $65 to $70. Uh, I think right now it's it's on Amazon at a cost of $67.86. Uh, so and that varies from time to time, but I would say you can expect between $65 and $70 for uh, the ability to treat 10,000 square feet of lawn. Here is the entire assembled applicator. I think this will work out real well for purposes of distributing the milky spore powder. I'm excited to try it as soon as the weather warms up here a little bit. Uh, so I trust you found this video helpful today. Perhaps it'll give you another tool in the arsenal of fighting those uh, nasty moles. I'll leave some product links in the uh, information below. So in case you want to source this uh, milky spore for your own lawn application. And if you decide to build one of these applicators, let me know how it works for you. We'll see you next time.